Okay, we're going to go over painting your CO2 car. First thing you're going to need is to get a stand to hold your CO2 car. They're over by the sink to the right here. Okay. You want to paint the back of your car first, and then you're going to put your car on your stand. When you paint the back of your car, you should hold your car out to the side and spray the back. Don't hold your car directly in front of your hand and spray, or you'll get spray paint all over your hand. Okay. Then once we put it on there, we're going to do really light streaks of paint. We don't want to get any drips. So, uh, I'm going to turn on the switch, turn on the spray booth. Uh, hold my car out to the side and spray in the back of the car. Try not to get any paint into the CO2 hole. That could make the CO2 hole too small to fit a cartridge later. And now I'm going to put my car on the stand. I'm going to spray light coats and turn a block of wood. And that's what a good paint job would look like. To show you an example of what a bad paint job is like, if I hold down the can of paint and spray, I'm getting drips. I don't know if we can pan in and see those, but we're getting drips from adding too much paint, and those are deductions. So again, what you'd like to do is really light spritzes. Once you're done painting your car, put it on the table to dry. It'll take about 10 to 15 minutes for your car to dry. Take the car and put it in your locker. It'll fit in your locker on the stand. So if the paint's still wet, just put it away while it's on the stand. Okay, after your first coat of paint, the paint will have soaked into the wood grain and it'll make your car a little rough. What you want to do is take some steel wool, and it's just like a Brillo or SOS pan without the soap, and you want to lightly go over your car to smooth out the bumps. This isn't like sanding, it's about a 20 second process. So take a piece of steel wool and really lightly go over your car, just smoothing out the rough areas. And that would really be all you'd need to do. Only steel wool after the first coat of paint. The second coat of paint will not soak into the wood grain anymore, and you won't, should not have any rough surface after your first coat of paint. So again, only steel wool after the first coat of paint. To do a pattern, you're going to spray paint your car one color. When the paint dries, you're going to steel wool that layer or that coat of paint, and then you're going to want to do another coat. Um, so this car was painted pink, that it was spray painted pink, then steel wooled, and then they sprayed another coat of pink. After the second coat of pink paint dried, they cut out flame, a flame pattern in tape, and they taped the flame pattern on their car. They then spray painted their entire car black, and when the paint dried, they were able to peel off the tape and the pink flame remained underneath there because the paint blocked the black paint in that area. So if you want to tape off different colors, you spray an entire color, let it dry, steel wool, do that color a second time, and then begin taping off designs.